I'm ready. Hey everybody, I'm Rob. And I'm Lori Marie Jenkins. And we are artists who live, live in Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. Welcome to our world. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Another week in paradise here. Yes, this is kind of our backyard. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of the beginning of the backyard. Yeah. The it goes yeah. and goes. It goes and goes and goes. <laughs> yeah. That is true. Yeah. Keep going downhill for a long ways, you reach the creek. Yeah, if there is one. Right, <laughs> not now. Not, not right now. Not right now. <clears throat> so, good. It was um, it was kind of a, it was a good week. It was a productive week, but kind of a maintenance week. Like just getting, getting things done that we needed to get done. Well, I have a list right here. Yeah. Okay. So, but, I think we showed you a video of the pineapple by the road that was growing. And we don't have a pineapple by the road anymore. <laughs> One of the neighbors took it. One of the neighbors took it, which it is off. fine. I mean, it was just a couple of days from uh, being ready to harvest, and we didn't, and they did, mm -hmm. and there you have it. It might have been ready to harvest. We thought about it, came back from dog walk, forgot about it. Yep. Somebody else saw it and took it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. Uh, we have a lot more that are on our property behind fences, but... Yeah, neighbors will neighbors will do what neighbors will do. Yeah, we knew that when we put the pineapples by the road. We took the chance of take a chance, else, take a chance, take a chance. Someone else enjoying them, so I'm yep. okay with that. All right, we have bananas that we're going to harvest later today. Yeah, Hopefully we can get a video of that. Yep, yep. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, right there. Right. So we have behind us. You can see a little bit of the arch that I built for the passion fruit. And the passion fruit vines are growing nicely, mm -hmm. um, not nearly as good as they as they will in the rainy season. And so last week, I think I showed you two fruits. We lost one of the fruits to we're assuming gravity, because nobody ate it. Um, but it, Laura Marie found it on the ground, and so I don't know what she's gonna find in there. I don't know. It's pretty dried out. Yeah, don't cut yourself. It's it's not how you would harvest them. So there's one still growing on there and it's green. And what we've been told is they will probably be a little bit more on the yellow side when they're harvestable. And so at what point we harvest them, at what point of ripeness, uh, we'll find out, we'll find out, hoping to have a lot. So we have a lot of flowers started. So it's moist on the inside. Uh -huh. <coughs> Pardon me, very, very tough to open up. Yeah, it's tough skin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks like seeds in there. Mm -hmm. Passion fruit seeds. Huh? Maybe, maybe we'll plant more, huh? What do you guys mm. think of that? Yeah, I'm not going to eat it. No. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest it that. It does not taste very good. I did uh, taste a I little don't bit think of it. It's real ripe yet. And it's not very good. <laughs> so we're going to wait for the other one um, to show you how they taste delicious. Mm. <laughs> not this one. Okay, that's and that. In case you were wondering, this is my smoothie kombucha mix breakfast. Yay! So, I'm not having a cerveza at 8.30 in the morning. Right. <laughs> so, I make the smoothies in the morning with um, our, our fresh fruit, yeah, and homemade yeah. yogurt, and some ice, and then blend it with the uh, kombucha. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. And we're hoping to have a lot more bananas this time next year. Uh, we are actually planting a bunch of new banana plants tomorrow. Yay! Um, it's just now on the cusp of dry season and rainy season. Segway. Segway. It what did rained. we get yesterday? It rained. It yeah. rained. We it, took it didn't rain that much. No, no, it rained. Yeah, that was it. it. <laughs> <laughs> we took Hudson for a walk. It started to mist. Oh my god. I wouldn't god. even call it a rain. It we almost missed to, it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> and uh, and then we settled down to play our game, and it rained nicely. Yes. Gentle yeah. rain, which I'm grateful for, because the earth is cracked and dry. So. Oh my gosh, yeah. We're gonna have some, we're gonna have some landslides with heavy rains, but we're always excited when there's enough rain so that it runs off the roof and we can hear it coming down our um, our downspouts. Yay! Which yeah. we did. We did. So that was good. That was very very the good. The plants are happier. Plants yes. are way happier. But um, Francisco, our yard guy, is bringing a bunch of banana plants tomorrow. Three different varieties. There are a lot of different varieties of bananas, believe it or not. You usually only see one in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And um, so we've got a big pile here to my left. And this is this is going to be our planting soil. And um, It is soil. 
nice organic soil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, sand from the river. We'll show you the yep. little video of the never, little river. Never uh, ocean sand. Too salty. Because of the sand, or because of the salt. Um, some charcoal. Yes, aged, aged charcoal. Also some ashes from my burnings of the uh -huh. leaves and such. And rice husks. Rice husks. And um, calcium. And so that's all a really good mix. We already have a lot of holes prepared, ready to, uh, to, so we know where we're putting the bananas. Yep. So that'll be, that'll be fun. That'll yes. be fun. So that one side of our orchard is going to be much more of a banana plantation. Mm -hmm. And we got so much fruit going on up here. Very exciting. Yes, definitely. It has rained. Where'd we go yesterday? Oh my gosh. So we actually had a mission yesterday. Well, it was a bi di it was a twofold mission. And Rob needed to get something at the hardware store. Mm -hmm. And then he had heard of a new little coffee shop, cafe place in Tenemastres. Yes. And Oro Verde. Yes. So nice. Cute little place. Really cute. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Yeah, I think the, the owner is a Tico, which is great. Love seeing uh, entrepreneurs doing their thing. And Tenemastres is a... Um, it's a good location for the kind of place he has set up. Mm -hmm, definitely. Yeah, there's one in Platineo called Selva Organica, and it's a similar thing, similar thing. Very, it's, very similar. Yeah, it's it's probably almost 100% geared towards expats mm -hmm. with a little bit, little bit dodo. <laughs> but the restaurant was really cute. I uh, got a couple videos of that, so those will, those will be there to watch at the end. And um, What did you have? I had what's called a golden burger which was just a lean beef hamburger. Delicious. And I had a, I can't remember. Colibri. Colibri burger, and it was eggplant, and it was so good. So. Colibri means hummingbird. Mm -hmm. It was not made with hummingbirds. No. They, um, <laughs> on their menu, they have vegan, vegetarian, and meat eaters choices mm -hmm. so they hit everybody on the on the menu which is yep. really nice and most of them are, are the same there's like a vegetarian poke bowl and then there's a chicken poke bowl mm -hmm. and there's a um, falafel wrap and then there's a, a chicken wrap so mm -hmm. it's, it's nice yeah. yeah they did a good job and uh, chef uh, Eugenia she um, came out and talked with us and uh, Brando was the guy working there so thanks guys yeah thank really you so much really enjoyed it and um, yeah they got a uh, a lot of neat stuff. Morpho! Oh, I wonder if it got on screen. Maybe you guys could see it. I don't know. That'd be fun. Just like toucans, it's always a good day when you see a Morpho. Mm -hmm, that's right. So I talked to them about uh, selling my baskets there, yeah. my canastas. So we shall see. Um, I did go to Selva Organica uh, as well. So that's two shops that I have approached for my baskets to sell them so fingers crossed everybody that that comes to fruition heck yeah they're amazing i'd like yeah. to have them someplace other than just in the house <laughs> they, they don't sell as well in the house they do not like most of our artworks yeah. that's right. <laughs> maybe someday so that's good that's good yep um okay i got my hearing aids new Yay. hearing aids so my first hearing aids in costa rica um, I have been wearing them, I don't know, probably 10 years now, all told. And uh, so it was very interesting. The experience was very similar to hearing aid um, places that I've been in the States. Um, again, they're expensive. They always always seem to be. I don't know why. Um, but I'm very happy with them. Uh, it's a different brand. They don't have the same brands here available. Um, this is one called Wide X. But I went to Clinica Dina Marca, D-I-N-A. And uh, Dr. Aaron was there, and I highly recommend them. There you so go. So if you're in the southern zone, if you're if you're near San Isidro, um, if you have any questions about it, let me know. But yeah, it's very professional. Um, we spoke mostly Spanish, but he does speak English, so that's good. Very good. Yeah. So getting used to them. I don't know anybody if anybody knows when you get new hearing aids. There's an adjustment period because you're you're setting levels and things like that. So these are just four days old. Getting the hang of them. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to say that one? or No, you did it. All right. And then uh, the only other kind of maintenance thing, which was great, was DECRA. DECRA is the yearly um, inspection that you need for all vehicles in Costa Rica. 
and we had gone through video illegally obtained <laughs> of, getting, here. of okay. getting our getting our decora um for inspection RAV. for the rav4 mm -hmm. yeah and um and that went super smoothly and same thing here our, our toyota hilux which is like a souped up uh toyota tacoma for those of you who don't know it uh it's not that old of a car so if your car is less than five years old you can get your inspection for um, a two-year period instead of one. Uh, anything older than five years, you have to get it inspected every year. But because ours is newer, I uh, no problems with the inspection, but I got a two-year sticker. So we don't have to redo this until 2026. Yay! But it's crazy. They have two lanes. Um, they're pretty efficient, you know, by Costa Rican standards. And uh, semis are going through one of the lanes. And this is semis with trailers, with full 40-foot trailers on and it's all designed you know really high ceilings really wide and so these guys have to get inspected and they can't just drop their their trailers on the side of the road so, so how do you spell decra d-e-k-r-a you know what it stands for no okay do you no oh. <laughs> so that's a good thing to google it's uh like the omissions in california right Emissions? Emissions. Yeah. No, omissions. Omissions. <laughs> what was that? Smog check? Smog check and yeah. such. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And um, so it, it used to be Riteve when we moved here, and Riteve lost their license, and a new company came in, and they're called Decra. Yep. So, yeah, it's everybody has to do it, um, and it's based on when you bought your car. The Marchamo is the yearly registration. Everybody pays that by January 1st. That's always the same. This varies month by month. So, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, Tuesday, uh, this past Tuesday, um, my friend Laura gave a little uh, demonstration on watercolor blobs. So, did that. That uh, video is available on my Underpants Club on, on the uh, art channel, if you want to see that. That was very, very fun. Uh, people from all over the world attended that, so that was fun. Mm -hmm. So if you guys don't know, Lori Marie has other YouTube channels, much, much bigger and more developed than this crazy thing. But yeah, um, Lori Marie Jenkins, her uh, art channels, just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of amazing instructional videos yep. for artists of all, all levels. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing stuff. It's, it's, it's really fun. You'll, you'll find something there that you'll enjoy. Yep. So baskets now, mm -hmm. and mixed media in the past, and altered books, and yeah, yep. so fun stuff, very Good. fun. Yep. All right, I got nothing else. No, no, it's uh, we're very excited about the rain, and yes. they're calling for a rainy weekend here. So we're we're fingers crossed that the beginning of the the rainy season, the green season as they call it, is is on its way. Yes. But yeah, everything is good here. We're good. We're happy. We're healthy. So, cheers. Cheers. And thanks for all of your uh, your comments, things like that. Um, and I really appreciate the help you guys give um, identifying things. Yeah, absolutely. So the orchid from last week was a spotted catacetum. <laughs> and so that is a catacetum maculatum. Huh? How about that? Yeah. Yeah, so that's, um, it, it was amazing with all the big bees. And the bug, oh, we have lots of bugs this week. Yeah. Lots Ooh. of bugs this week. Three bugs of the week. And the bug from last week was the uh, click beetle. Glowing click beetle. Glowing click beetle. And yep. there's a fun little story, children's book, called The Clumsy Click Beetle. Mm -hmm. And it, there's a read aloud on YouTube that's very, very fun. So if you get a chance, listen to that. And we got some hummingbirds, and we got... I don't know, some other stuff. Maybe right. maybe even some banana harvesting. Maybe. Maybe. I think that's <laughs> in our future. Okay, sweetie. Right. I'm good. I'm good. All right. See you soon. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Thanks again for coming along. Adios. Ciao. Good morning. We are down at one of the rivers collecting some sand for our gardens because uh, they mix the soil and the sand together. And there's a nice bubbling creek here. Uh, <laughs> Hudson doesn't like the water, but he did try to cross the river 
and fell in and got his little feeties wet. So that was very fun to witness. So here's our buckets of sand. Um, it is not eight o'clock yet. So it is nice and cool down here. Uh, slowly, slowly, babbling brook. We've been here before. We ended up giving some people a ride back to Platanillo. See if I can find Hudson. Hudson, come on. I don't know where he is. He won't go far. So fun little project here. We've got this hand juicer, which is great for lemons and oranges and things. We get the big electric juicer, but this guy um, is nice for small stuff, but it rocks. It rocks forward. So I wanted a base for it. And so I found this guy here. I don't know what kind of wood it is, but it's got some really nice figuring in there. And so I just did some sanding to it, clean it up a little bit. And then this is two coats of like a furniture wax. It's, it's from France. Um, something my uh, old friend William gave me. So I'm gonna put this together and then I'll show you. And finished product. There we go. Put some pressure on that and it doesn't, it doesn't tip over. And it's not too big. I just made the, the wood about the same distance as the handle. So not a tool we use every day, but it's fun use of scrap wood. Another project. Let's try the other side. So this is... Look at that guy. So, Praying Man is part two. Look at that pattern on his back. Her back, I don't know. I don't think she likes the light too much, but... <laughs> So probably wow, about so four inches long. Let's see if I can put my... Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to Look at that pattern though. That's amazing. It's like a, a damaged leaf. So we'll have to find out what kind of mantis this is. We've seen this kind before, but not with that pattern on the upper body. Enjoy folks. Bug of the week. Thought this was just a leaf at first, but it is a praying mantis. So you can, it's upside down. You can see it's a little, uh, little praying mantis head there and it's legs curled up. But look at that, just super cool camouflage. He's not doing much. That's okay. Maybe bug of the week. Can I get his head a little better? Pretty fun. About, uh, I don't know, inch and a half long. Not too big. Just made a new friend. My little uh, stick buddy. He's out in the garden. So he's a good size, probably seven or eight inches. He's pretty dry. He seemed to like the hose. I was watering some of the plants. You can see the garden's looking good, but yeah, these guys are around all the time. They're really, really cool looking. Some are much, much bigger than this, but uh, they've got green ones and he's more, he looks like a dried stick because it's so dry right now. So I don't know, a contender for bug of the week. We now have two. So we found a cool new spot. This is... <gasps> Oro... Is it Oro Verde? Yes. Oro Verde. Oro Verde. So green gold. And it's a cute little restaurant and eco mercado in Tinamastes. What do you got there? I have a mint lemonade. Limonade. Limonada. Limonada. <laughs> Excellent. I'm going to show you. Um, <laughs> Comenta. So, yeah, cute little market. Cute market there, right downtown Tenemastes. 
There's our chef Eugenia. All right, great place, Oro Verde. So we're still at uh, Oro Verde here in Tinamastes, and I just had to show you guys the gardens. Very, very fun. Got some red bananas out there. A lot of birds back here. So this is their back patio, and just lovely. Nice, nice bar top here. A lot of birds out there. Some beautiful, beautiful Boston ferns. And then back here, just we've seen a whole bunch of really cool birds. A lot of stuff that uh, we haven't seen too much of in Platanillo, but it's a great place. Come check it out. This is the politest these guys have been all week long. They keep fighting and squabbling over the feeders. So I haven't seen three on our feeder at one time for a while. This is great. Because these hummingbirds are very territorial. We've got five to eight of them usually and they're they're finding time between this and the other feeder this seems to all oh, four on at once wow that's a first and on camera oh <laughs> and then biff comes he's our neighborhood bully he guards it and sends everybody flying away Schoolyard bully. Biff. 